Okay, so what do you, do you mind if I ask you your name? Dan Parkinson. Okay, so RNC08 Tiananmen Square 2. Now, I happen to know of the video of that guy standing in front of the one tank and then it disappears. How do you think this relates to this now? Well, the point is, is they're suppressing, they're suppressing the protesters and the voice of the people by putting them in jail. They arrested over 300 people so far. They're going to hold them in the jails until the, the convention is over and thereby erasing their chance to be part of a protest, which is part of our free speech in the United States. This is exactly what they were trying to do in China when it was crushed, and they're going to crush us here. Hopefully they aren't going to although, kill anybody like I did in China, but it's still they're crushing a protest. Yeah, I do agree, but you know, I'm also noticing that in China, they didn't let any more of that video go. We still don't know what happened to that man. That's true. So you're thinking that maybe it'll I'm happen here? I'm that guy stand down the tank, but... Okay. Um, I think we got to realize that there's a connection. Our freedoms are being impinged on in the same way that they are in, in China by the fact that we're not being allowed to protest. And there's 300 people in jail. Or more. Well, you're allowed to protest. You just need to get a permit for it. What's that? You're allowed to protest. You just need to get a permit for it. It's their way of denying protests by denying the permits. And we have a right. We have a right to make our voice oh. heard. Thank you for this interview.